This is Pedro. He has given a life to roughly 1 million people in Madagascar's grueling capital of Antananarivo. Pedro grew up on the streets of Buenos Aires, Argentina. At the early age of 9, he worked with his father as a bricklayer. My father tell me, hey, Peter, come, come uh, to work. He then decided to become a priest, finishing his training in present-day Slovenia, where his parents are from. Father Pedro first came to Madagascar in 1970. And 48 years later, he's still here. He speaks seven languages, English being the worst. So when we spoke, we stuck mostly to French and Spanish. The extreme poverty that he saw on the streets of Antananarivo made him frustrated, so he did everything in his power to change it. Aquí eh, no se puede venir a mirar, aquí se viene a luchar. Pienso que todos somos hermanos. In 1989, he started a community called Akamasu, which takes homeless people off the streets and into this peaceful village, which you will not believe until you see it. It almost feels like a European city with all these like colorful buildings, like Denmark or the Netherlands or something. They have restaurants, hospitals, schools. They're building another school here. Look at all that wood. Dentist. Dentist. Here. Getting some street food here in Akamasu, which is fried vegetable thingies. Everything that you need in a city is here. It's amazing. C'est un pour moi la la justice uh, c'est un combat. Uh, le développement c'est un combat. La vérité c'est un combat. Moi je n'ai jamais accepté dans ma vie l'extrême pauvreté. When I asked him how we could afford to build Akamasu, he said, "Le plus grand bailleur de fonds pour nous c'est le bon Dieu." It's God first. God. The first one is God. Pedro originally started with 900 euros that he borrowed from Christian missionaries. Little by little, year after year, he got more funding as the word spread and his village started to grow. He displays the names of his sponsors nicely on the football stadium. Yes, there is a giant football stadium. It looks like an American high school. Alongside a basketball court that is as nice as any in the country. Today, tens of thousands of people call Akamasu home. 25,000 people que nous nous occupons directement. And about a million total people have been supported from one day to three weeks where they were offered rice, a home, clothes, and a small package to essentially be reborn. He's living here uh, for uh, 30 years. He's telling it's good, it's better here. He's uh, willing to stay here. He's happy here. The school are better. The life is better. He's more comfortable here. Thank you. Akamasu is very safe and a nice change from Antananarivo where I don't feel that comfortable walking on the streets. I actually left my backpack behind while I was interviewing Pedro and nobody took it. Pedro's philosophy is written all over the walls of his community. And it means? If you are not willing to work, you, cannot, you are not allowed to eat. Our philosophy is that C'est par le travail que nous allons vaincre la pauvreté. Alors tous les gens qui arrivent à Kamasu, euh, nous leur demandons de travailler. Their jobs can be anything from weaving to breaking rocks, construction, or artists who make and sell handcrafts in their amazing gift shop. Les maçons, charpentiers, ferraillères, les gens qui font des pavés. It's amazing how Pedro incentivizes people to work or study if they want to live here. And if they comply, they are awarded a lovely house like this one. Very nice. Pedro's work has led him to be awarded the Legion of Honor by the President of France, and he was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. His story has been featured in documentaries, full-length books and he's even received blessings from Pope Francis himself. The way I see it, Pedro is the Pope of his community as a leader and a giver, asking for nothing in return. Everybody in Akamasu knows him, respects him, and loves him, especially the kids. So you you, you stay here forever, you're never leaving. That's my family, wait, my family. That is my family. Esto es una realidad. Y aquí los niños son niños. Here, the children. His children. Mm. This has been one of the most touching stories I've had the pleasure to witness and share with you. Thank you to Pedro for devoting your entire life to end extreme poverty. I hope to see you again here very soon. Hasta <laughs> luego. <laughs> God uh, bless you. Uh, Thank you so and much. Good, uh, good uh, travel in uh, all the world. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.